Welcome back. We're continuing with M4-3 cost-volume-profit relationship and graph. We're now answering Part 3. The President would like to know what would happen to operating income at different levels of production. Volume of sales. He says to you, I'm not a numbers guy. Can you show it to me using images or maybe a graph? Actually, we can totally graph what's called a cost-volume-profit analysis graph. On this graph, we would place the level of activity on the x-axis. In this case, the level of activity would be the sales volume. From zero, all the way up to whatever we would want to, as long as it's within the relevant range. On the y-axis, we would place total revenue and total cost line. Both of these would be shown as different line items. Total revenue would be one line item. Remember, we would use the formula to calculate every point. The total cost line would use the total cost formula in order to calculate the line. I did such a graph, and I'll show it to you. So here's the graph that I produced on Excel. Note that you could produce this graph manually also. Let's just talk about this graph for a minute. Notice a few things. The red line is the total cost line. The blue line is the total revenue line. How do I know this? Because the total revenue line at zero units is always at zero. But the total cost line at zero units is equal to the fixed cost, which are 55,500. What does it mean when the lines cross? It means that total revenues are equal to total costs, and that means that operating income is equal to zero. This is called the break-even point. It appears that the break-even point is about, well, somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000. Notice that the break-even point at the level of activity is equal to the number of units that need to be sold in order to earn a zero operating income. The break-even point on the total revenue and cost line is equal to the break-even point in sales dollars. Again, how much revenue you would have to have in order to end up with an operating income of zero. If sales volume is above the break-even number of units, what would that mean? For instance, our sales volume is 3,000. Where it intercepts the total cost line is the total costs at 3,000. Where it intercepts the total revenue line is equal to the total revenue, $150,000. The space between the total revenue line and the total cost line is equal to the profit earned. In this case, we know it to be $12,000 because of our contribution margin income statement. Let's imagine that we sell 5,000 units. Total costs at 5,000 units. Total revenue at 5,000 units. The space between the total revenue line and the total cost line is equal to operating income. The operating income that would be earned if the company sold 5,000 units. That tells us something important about the graph. Any number of units sold that is above the break-even point will always generate a positive operating income. What if sales volume was below the break-even point? What would that mean? Any sales volume that is below the break-even point would indicate the company was losing money. Why? Because the red line which indicates total costs is higher than the blue line which indicates total revenue. What if the president asks you the following question? Our product is a luxury product. In an economic downturn, how likely is it that we will stop making a profit on this product? Remember, right now, we are making a profit. So how could this chart help us answer the question? The chart shows the margin of safety, or more precisely, the risk that the company is exposed to if sales volumes decline. The margin of safety is how far actual or budgeted sales are above the break-even point. On the x-axis, we can see that the space between the break-even point and the point we're actually selling at, 3,000 units, is the margin of safety in units. On the y-axis, it shows the margin of safety in sales dollars, which is the point between the break-even sales dollars and the sales dollars at 3,000 units. Remember that the margin of safety is how far actual or budgeted sales are over the break-even point. It shows how far sales volume can decrease before losses occur. 
In this case, we can see very quickly that the current sales level of 3,000 units is very close to the break-even point. In fact, it looks like a drop of just maybe 300 to 500 units will cause the company to start incurring losses because the company in that case will be on the wrong side of the break-even point. The margin of safety allows management to determine how close the company is to operating at a danger level and as such indicates their level of risk. The closer the sales volume is to the break-even point, the more risk there is that a small change in sales volume will move the company from a position of profit in the form of operating income to a position of loss. This graph is very helpful in showing the president the likelihood that, in an economic downturn, the company is at risk of losing money on sales of this product because they have a higher level of risk due to their lower margin of safety. Remember, actual sales is very close to the break-even point and a decline in sales volume of between 300 and 500 units would result in the company suffering losses. In the next video, we'll actually calculate the break-even point in units and sales dollars. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll join me in the next one.